Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about violating the deceptive ads policy in Google Play. Okay, so I've had another app rejected. I tell you what, I have not been rejected this much since high school. It seems like every time you put something through, you have like a 75% chance of it being approved these days. But this time it wasn't rejected by Apple, it was rejected by Google, which is a lot more rare. Usually I'm like, if Google rejects something, I'm like, hey, this is something, what, what's going on? So. It, wasn't, it was just a rejection for a, a, an update, so it wasn't a suspension or anything like that, no big deal, but here's what I got. So I, I submitted a bunch of apps to the App Store, some updates a couple of days ago, and I woke up yesterday to an email from Google Play saying, um, saying, you know, hi developers, your app has been rejected because of violation of the deceptive ads policy. And I thought, that sounds serious. That sounds like I'd done something really, really bad. And I just, I was like in bed. I know I shouldn't check my phone when I wake up in the morning, but I checked it up and I just sat straight up. I was like, what is this? And I read through it and they got me on one of the apps. They, they said, I'm violating the deceptive ads policy and they included a screenshot. So it was this one here. Uh, so you see that we have this pop-up for the GDPR consent form which comes up and says, do you want to have relevant ads? Do you want to have non-personalized ads? Or do you want to pay for the ad-free version? And then that ad-free version goes back to the Play Store so they can purchase the paid version, right? Basically, I took the Google consent form and just put it into my own app. So it kind of blends in with the, the theme and everything. And they said that this last one, pay for the ad free version, which goes to another app, that is technically an ad and it doesn't look like an ad and it sees, needs to be marked as an ad, right? So I said to them, and I included a screenshot, I said it to them saying, okay, so I appealed it because I thought that doesn't make any sense. I appealed it and I sent them a link to the Google Play consent form which has the exact same form on it so if you use a Google consent API it pops up with a form it says do you want to continue to see relevant ads ads that are less relevant or pay for the free version and it's the same thing if you pay for the free version it goes back to the app store the play store right so that's what I did so I appealed it and said oh yeah I, I see what you mean but no this is not an ad this is the exact same thing as as the form that Google put out so I'm not really breaking any rules I'm using the exact same language and that appeal was rejected they came back saying if it's going to be an ad it needs to say more apps uh, it needs to say more apps or more games or something like that and it was it was rejected so my appeal was rejected and I thought huh that's kind of weird so and I know a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to our friend Rodrigo and he had the same issue and he told me about it. He said, they rejected it because I have this button to go buy the full version and they said that that's an ad and it's a deceptive ad. And I said, well, just change it. So that's what I'm gonna have to do with this one is just change it, right? But when it was Rodrigo, I was like, oh, that's interesting. When it was me, it was like, it's me. So anyway, I wasn't really that upset about it. I mean, I kind of am. It doesn't make any sense because here's the deal, right? The other day, I actually went through and I updated like 22 different apps and I uploaded them. So it was like going through and just making these API changes and just uploading, uploading, uploading. I just sat down for like almost an entire day and just started uploading these apps to the to the Play Store. And out of 22 that I uploaded and went through and did all the stuff, out of 22 of them, one of them got this rejection. All the rest of them went through just fine. You can see from the screenshot here, it's the Korean version of the app. So it's one reviewer who's rejected it. I've appealed it, that appeal was rejected. And it's just the way that it is. I mean, sometimes you get one past the goalie. Sometimes you get a reviewer who could be a bit more difficult, but you're always, you have to accept the fact that when you have a reviewer, you're dealing with a person and they just don't want rubbish going onto the on the Play Store or onto the App Store. And sometimes you could go through and, and plead out your case. And I could fight this one a little bit further saying I'm using the exact same wording, or I could just go through and put ads in brackets or something on that button. But because I know Rodrigo had the same issue, I thought I would bring it up here because I mean, app rejections are just a, a fact of life. They, just, they happen from time to time. Sometimes you have a reviewer go through and look at it. And I think Google Play is getting more involved in the review process than they ever were in the past. But you get somebody go through and they review it. I mean, they included a screenshot. They, they made it very clear as to what I had to do. So that wasn't that big a deal. But 
yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it's only one of app out of those out of all those ones that I did. And uh, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit today. If you've had the same kind of issue, because uh, I, like I said, Rodrigo had it. I'm sure other of you guys have had it out there. If that happens, just change it. Just change the wording, put add on there, do, do whatever you have to do to get, to get it live and make the reviewer happy. Because the reviewer, they're just trying to do their job and they just want to be able to rubber stamp it and say, yeah, that's fine, go through. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.